Hello and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. I'm Rika from Honey Bunny Games and this is our factory testing stuff. And I think I have cat hair on my tongue. But anyway, um, I was just recording multiplayer with Twisted and we kind of discovered something uh, that these guys could actually be causing uh the lag so i'm gonna remove the this thing is called uh what they're called suspensions yeah i'm gonna remove the suspensions all of them and see how this thing behaves but i think it might be fine Yeah, I think this is fine, actually. And to be honest, I think this is a uh, great length, so... I will extend this little fella... ...all the way... ...here. Same on the other side. I'm gonna remove these stony things. Uh, where's my leather thing? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna remove this thing... Place it like this. Same here. Oh, remove these guys as well. And there we go. Also, before placing down the converting, I did say I'm gonna try placing down the wheel. So, okay. I should be able to jump here. Come on. Okay, maybe not. There we go. I'm gonna turn this guy off. Just like that. Okay, not gonna need you. But, I will place down the wheel. So, wheels. Wheels, wheels, wheels. Me, wheels on wheels. No, oh, meals on wheels. <laughs> Okay, now, yes, I can. Uh, will, 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 will. Just so that this guy goes smoother, let me see. Yeah, <laughs> he's not even turning. Ah, uh, okay. But I don't like the idea of it sliding on the floor. I definitely don't like that. And here's possibly a little fix I'm going to do. A little fix I'm going to do. I'm gonna try placing... I'm gonna need some more short pipes. I'm gonna try placing the wheels, but not like I did now, but a little bit different. Okay. You can probably guess where I'm going at. Uh, yep, so this side we also have to have a few of these guys. Place the round thing, place the bearing, place the wheel. Uh, let me see how it works. Come on. Why does this guy does spin at all? Spin, my little friend. At least it doesn't go left and right. That's something. Come on, I want to jump on this thing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna jump. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like this. Uh, finish the bearings. All the way. Or well, maybe not all the way, but almost all the way. Place down the pipes. Shouldn't be here. Okay. Nope. Nope, I said. Place them on this 
Right now, same thing on the other side, right? No. Fire. No, wait. Oh, I had a bit of lag. And again. And again. I'm gonna remove these guys actually. Okay. I'm not having any legs now. Uh, okay, legs. No legs? I'm just gonna leave it. And eventually, maybe it will sort itself out. You know what else could be causing this? All this bumping. Yeah, I might have a fix for that, but it's gonna take me a long time to, well, fix it. So, let me try something like this. You can see uh, there won't be any hitting the conveyor belts, conveyor tubes. Um, but there might not be something into this. I could just very well be doing all this for nothing. Okay, Kitty wants something. Oh man. Hold on for a few more minutes, Kitty. I'm going to get to you. Or you can come here. In my life. Come on, Kitty. Where are you? Uh, she probably wants something stupid. Okay, gonna remove these guys. Hopefully. It just sounded like the worst scene from Star Wars. Uh, in the well, first episode, obviously. When the... I think it's called Watto. Says Anakin he can go home. He's like, yippee! That, that scene kind of ruined the whole franchise, if you ask me. I usually have a very bad... Um, very bad tolerance of those stupid-like scenes. Also, basically one scene can destroy a whole movie for me if it's that bad. Not one scene, one line can destroy the whole movie if it's that bad. One example would be uh, from Thor, where the Natalie Portman said, that's a good look, after the Thor became Thor again with his armor and stuff like that. That's a good look. I was like, oh, no, no, I oh, know you didn't. You ruined the whole fucking movie now. Come on. I'm that picky. And I think this could be solved. I'm not gonna jinx it, but I don't think I felt any FPS drop since I removed... Oh, no. Maybe? Maybe? Come on. Come on! Okay, I think this was the issue. I mean, it does make sense, right? Does it? I think it does. Uh, but the thing is, the crate might fall in, right? Well, that depends, but it very well could fall in. That's not good. That is definitely not good, but you know what? I could use steel pallets instead of the crates. What do you guys think? What do you guys think if I use the steel pallets instead of the crates? I shouldn't do this here. Next stand. Like this. Yep, seems fine. Seems fine. Oh, this is this guy is too too wide. What about like this?
Okay, way too big. I need to go with bananas. Yeah. Bananas are bad. Yeah, this this is now too small. Too big a gap. Oh god. Hmm. What could I do? What could I do? How do I reach these conveyors? Okay. I don't know, I don't know. I it feels kind of the lag is fixed, but at the same time it doesn't feel like that. I'm gonna try uh, having one side touch these guys and the other side not touching the thing. Maybe that will help. And I think I'm getting some lag back again. Am I? Yes, I definitely am. Oh boy, come on. Whoa, did you see that? That was massive FPS drop. Oh, I had the best intentions to actually come up with a converse system that's not gonna cause me any lag. And it seems I'm gonna have to go with the wheels. Um, not wheels, motors. Oh boy, so all of this for nothing? Come on, what could be causing this lag? I don't have so many connections. I do have plenty of loose objects, but someone did leave a comment. The loose objects are not causing lag, so... I know, I know, I'm giving up for a moment. I'm going to see what the kitty wanted, and I'll be back in another episode. But right now, this is it, so thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and see you next time.